Good morning, students. A lot of you are uh, preparing well for NEET. Uh, you have in your own mind how much should I score in NEET uh, to get into a good, decent college of my preference. Some of you are aiming for you know 700 marks. Some of you are looking at 650. Uh, today I am here to explain to you uh, how you can get at least 600 marks. Okay, see uh, people who are aiming for. Uh, Higher marks should definitely focus on your studies, you should focus on your preparation and uh, look at scoring uh, the marks that you intend. But what is it more important? More important is I have to have a base figure above which I have to score. So that is the method of preparing for uh, need. You need to have your own base figure. The figure that we have taken uh, a reasonably higher uh, number of uh, marks. Uh, which will give you a good admission into a good decent college of your preference of your choice. 600 is that marks. Okay, this is the past year performance, where past year scores uh, on which people get good colleges and admissions. We are uh, we have to look at uh, you know at least 600 marks for you to score in NEET 2023. But how do you do it? Uh, that is what we are here to explain today. Uh, first is you have to plan for your subject strategy. First question is. How many marks should I score in each of the three subjects that are covered under NEET? Okay, so uh, how you can score 600 is biology 320, you have to look at biology of 320 marks, uh, chemistry 150 marks and physics 130 marks. Uh, this is a suggested strategy for students, you will have to fine tune your own strategies, but uh, in an overall basis. Uh, you can look at scoring uh, 600 marks by having a subject wise split up like this. Biology, you should look at a minimum of 320 marks uh, out, of, uh, out of 360. Uh, chemistry, you have to look at 150 marks and uh, physics, you have to look at 130 uh, out of a total of 180 marks. So through this, you can definitely score uh, 600 marks. Uh, now let's come to subject wise, see uh, as far as NEET is concerned, biology is the king. If it is NEET, it is biology, you must all be aware of this. You should not get carried over uh, by physics, chemistry and all that. Uh, you have to ensure that you score the maximum in biology. NEET as an exam and medical uh, education as a course is oriented towards biology. You as a student, you have to understand it. You should not spend too much of time on uh, other subjects. Focus on biology because this is the subject which will get you through to me and which will hold you good in future also. What is my method of preparation for NEET? NCRT biology book. Okay, it is also downloadable. You have a book, you please read that. If you don't have NCRT, you have you have uh, educated in a different syllabus, in a state board syllabus or some other syllabus. Please download it. It is available for free. But go through that entire NCRT book line by line. I am sure your state board syllabus would also have components of the NCRT syllabus. We have gone to the Tamil Nadu state board. It is very similar to the NCRT syllabus. All the lessons are covered. But there is a bit more on NCRT books. The main questions are set on the NCRT pattern. So please take the time, download NCRT for free and go through those lessons one by one. Learn line by line. The entire neat questions on biology, which are two segments, botany and zoology, is completely based on the NCRT textbook. Only direct questions from the NCRT textbook are asked. But there is less time and you need to prioritize. How do you prioritize? We will come to that later. We will tell you how to prioritize it. The next most important subject is chemistry. Uh, you might be, some of you might be surprised. Chemistry. Uh, you, a lot of you might consider that it is a tough subject. Yes, every subject is tough. Every subject for the people who understand it is much, much easier. Okay. Chemistry, why we are prioritizing chemistry is, it is, not very difficult to score high marks in chemistry simply because most of the chemistry questions are again theoretical. If you look at 45 questions in chemistry, 
35 to 37 questions will be strange theory questions. If you have learned your chemistry lessons well, if you have prepared with the NCIT chemistry textbook, you can definitely answer at least 35 to 37 of those questions even if you find the sums and problems very tough. Because this is where a lot of students, you know, uh, find it very difficult. They say, sir, there are too many sums. Uh, I am more into biology. Biology doesn't have sums. But yes, chemistry and physics are also important for your medical education field and you must have a good understanding uh, of chemistry and physics for you to succeed in the medical field. That's why these subjects are more available in me. But chemistry you please prioritize. With priority on chemistry, you can easily score 140 to 150 marks if you focus on this. If you Even if you have difficulty in answering sums and other type of problems, most of the questions, that is around 35 to 37 questions are direct questions from the textbook, from the NCRT textbook. The number of sums in chemistry is only about 8 to 10. You have a good learning and understanding of chemistry lessons, you can definitely score 140 marks. That brings us to physics. So, uh, we have looked at biology, chemistry. Now, the third important subject is physics. Of course, it is slightly tougher uh, as far as NEET is concerned than the other two subjects. Uh, because physics tests your uh, knowledge as well as application. A lot of questions, which is which means about uh, you know uh, 60 to 70 percent of the questions in physics will be application oriented, which means they will be sums and problems. So uh, physics questions in NEET not only checks your uh, theoretical understanding, but also how you apply that in your day-to-day -day problems. And, uh, it, and it involves a lot of sums and calculations. That is why a lot of students find the physics section in NEET a bit more uh, cumbersome or tougher. But you must understand that physics cannot be ignored. You as a student, you will have to be good and you have to score a good number of marks in uh, physics also. That is where you will have to put in your efforts. How do you prepare? Now we have said this should be a subject strategy, this is the kind of questions that you can expect, this is the pattern of the testing, but as a student how do you prepare? With only 60 days left, you cannot start from scratch. You will have to spend a lot of time on revising these questions and you should have a list of focused chapters. You cannot be, you know, uh, see for example, uh, the number of chemist, the number of lessons in physics is about 28 lessons if you look at 11th standard and 12th standard NCRT books put together. Okay, out of these 28, how many physics lessons will you focus? You can't read the entire 28 from top to bottom, try and you know understand it now. Now is the time to revise. But how do you revise? You need to have a list of focus chapters, a list of probable questions, from which chapter will I get how many questions, how many marks can I score if I learn this lesson, which are the questions which are important? How many problems will be there? How many theoretical questions will be there? Test Wizard is there to help. We at Test Wizard, we are giving you a list of important lessons, a list of important sections in those lessons, how many probable questions will come from each of the lesson, so that you can prioritize learning of these lessons and with this kind of a preparation, which is a short term preparation in 60 days, you can definitely score more than 600 marks. So, enroll into test wizard at need.testwizard.in. The fees is just Rs. 999. It's a self study module where you will have to enter, you will have to attend a lot of mock tests, understand the concepts, and learn from those questions. Thank you.